Hi, Gary Stearman with today's Prophecy in the News update. It's Monday, May 17th, and I'm here sitting in for JR while he's undergoing uh, more medical procedures. Continue in prayer for him. He needs your prayers these days, but his faith is top notch. He's, uh, his hope is up, his faith is up, and, and he's counting on being back here uh, in the very near future. Well, as we continue to follow news from the Middle East, we have an amazing story today. Uh, and by the way, this uh, was issued May 15th out of the Middle East. This story has to do uh, with Syria and with the Beka Valley. And it, I believe, leads directly to a Bible prophecy that J.R. and I have talked about over the years time and time again, except that now the time is drawing much, much closer. Here's the story, Syria and Hezbollah are building a massive wall in eastern Lebanon. Now this wall is a north-south wall about, uh, well there's, they say 22 kilometers, that'll be about 14 miles. <clears throat> and if you remember the Maginot Line <laughs> in Europe uh, prior to World War II that was supposed to keep German tanks out of uh, western Europe, didn't work very well. And believe it or not, Hezbollah and Syria are building something ser uh, similar right now. Uh, here's the story. Hezbollah, Syria are building a massive fortified wall running from Rashaya al-Wadi on the western uh, at Lebanese slopes uh, of Mount Hermon. That would be about 85 kilometers to the southeast of Beirut. <clears throat> and that's on the south side. And this wall runs to the Lebanese Beka Valley and the town of Aita El Fukar in the north. This is amazing. This structure, again, 22 kilometers, about 14 miles long, uh, will parallel the Lebanese-Syrian border. And uh, when completed, <clears throat> it'll be one of the biggest fortified structures in the Middle East, designed as an obstacle against is any Israeli tank forces heading through Lebanon. Can you believe it? This seems entirely outmoded. Uh, again, that Maginot line failed to keep out anything, and I can't imagine this would work any better. But here's this obstacle <clears throat> designed to uh, be an obstacle against Israeli tanks heading through Lebanon toward the Syrian capital, Damascus. So this wall is really to protect Damascus. When it's finished, it's going to isolate key, uh, the key Lebanese uh, border region from the rest of the country and place it under Hezbollah Syrian military control. Folks, they're getting ready for war. They're working, they're as busy as beavers, they're as busy as termites. <clears throat> by the way, this area is inhabited mostly by the Druze and by the Christians, uh, Lebanese Christians in the area. The project became possible last year, says the news report, after Lebanon's Druze leader, Walid Jumblat, turned away from his pro-Western allegiance and threw in his lot with the pro-Syrian camp, lining up uh, with Syrian President Bashar Assad and uh, Hezbollah's Secretary Hassan Nasrallah, it bought into the military alliance that's headed up by Iran. What you have is <clears throat> this incredible, uh, three-way power group that has come together, Iran, Syria, and Hezbollah. And by the way, once this wall goes up, <clears throat> Hezbollah and Syria can freely smuggle weapons, uh, concealed from outside surveillance, uh, because the wall is going to apparently sport some uh, underground transport features as it goes along. <clears throat> there you have it preparation for war on a massive scale in Lebanon and in Syria. Now the prophecy I alluded to a bit earlier uh, is of course Isaiah 17, uh, which talks about the burden of Damascus. And Damascus is quote unquote being protected by this new wall that's going up, although uh, according to the Bible that protection is not going to be very effective. The burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taking, taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. Now, the cities of Aroer are forsaken. They shall be for flocks which lie down, and none shall make them afraid. You know, it's fascinating that uh, Damascus, 
<clears throat> and the plains of Arawer uh, is the area that this news story is taking into account. This entire region, according to the Bible, is going to be blasted, laid waste, flattened, <clears throat> and it's going to be laid waste in a very, very short period of time because <clears throat> what we have is an invasion into that territory that's described like this. In the 12th verse of Isaiah 17, woe to the multitude of many people which make a noise like the noise of the seas and the rushing of the nations that make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters. This is an invasion on a massive scale. The nations shall rush like the rushing of many waters, but God shall rebuke them and they shall flee far off and shall be chased as the chaff of the mountains before the wind, like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. And this prophecy ends in the following way in verse 14, and behold, <clears throat> at eventide trouble, and before the morning he is not. This is the portion of them that spoil us and the lot of them that rob us. This, the Bible is talking about a 24 hour war. In the evening trouble, before the morning, he is not. This is a nighttime invasion. This is something that happens literally overnight and it wipes out the coalition we've been talking about. Uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, Bashar Assad, Hasran Nasrallah, the, the, uh, Hezbollah, and then of course to the south we have Hamas and other groups uh, doing their busy work behind the scenes. But the latest is this amazing wall. Of all the ways you can spend money, this seems like one of the most futile. A wall, again, 14 kilometers wide, 22 kilometers long, and it is supposed to protect Damascus from Israel, if you can believe that. Well, I don't know. It looks to me like things are lining up, as we have said for years, but now uh, we, have, we have actual artifacts that we can point to. And among those are uh, the new extended range rockets possessed by Hezbollah, uh, the Scud missiles, and by the way, this same news release points to the fact that it'll be very easy for Hezbollah to smuggle Scud missiles uh, using this wall as cover. I don't know exactly how that's going to work, but uh, every report that I've read about the wall suggests that not only will it be a wall, but it will be some kind of a uh, transportation system, perhaps an underground tunnel uh, associated with the wall. Uh, at any rate, it is said to be very threatening to Israel because it will provide a way to smuggle heavy, heavy, heavy armament uh, from Damascus on to the south and to the west toward Israel. And that would include uh, the new improved Scud missiles said to be possessed by uh, the uh, Hezbollah forces there on Israel's northern border. Of course, the Scud missiles could reach all the way to the south uh, in Israel. The Fayar 5 missile, which they already have, will reach down to uh, as far as Netanya in, and in fact the northern suburbs of Tel Aviv. They are preparing for war. How long will it be before they pull it off? We're watching. We are praying for the peace of Jerusalem. We are praying for those who are on the right side of this battle. Uh, pray that the Lord will cover Israel and will cover the United States because we're Israel's best friend on earth. This is Gary Stearman with today's Prophecy in the News update. We'll see you again tomorrow.